Hi, uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, using games and fun activities to explain uh, what diabetes is. I mean, diabetes is a very complex condition, but you don't need to know everything there is about diabetes to be able to do something about it, particularly prevent it or reduce the risk of diabetes. So what am I talking about using games and fun activities? Well, it's all the, uh, the children or the community need to understand really is uh, how insulin works. So insulin, uh, its role and responsibility in the body is to get the sugar from the food, glucose, into the muscle. Uh, so once you understand those basic principles, then you can actually use the, uh, that principle in game, in game format. So for example, uh, if I eat food, turned into uh, sugar, goes into the bloodstream, the pancreas uh, produces uh, insulin, insulin goes into the bloodstream, gets the sugar out of my bloodstream into the muscle. So what stops insulin from doing its job properly? So I, I use basketball, soccer, netball, any ball game really. You know, coits is a great one. Uh, coits, for example, coits, uh, you know that game with the uh, wooden pole and the uh, the the loops that you throw on. Uh, I quite often do that, I'll get children to form two teams and I explain what insulin does in the body. Insulin's job is to get the sugar out of the bloodstream into the muscle to be used as energy. And the more energy we get inside our muscles, the healthier we, we are and the less, I should say, uh, or reduce the risk of diabetes, if you like. So uh, I use coits, two teams, uh, coits. I make the children the insulin the loop, the sugar, and the pole, the muscle. So the children's job is, is, as insulin, their job is to get the sugar into the muscle. So you can see I can use that principle in any ball game as well. And of course the team of children that gets all the sugar into the muscle win and actually reduce the risk of, uh, of diabetes or, or preventing diabetes uh, in the foremost. And then uh, basketball is a great example. So it's, uh, you get two teams and uh, the object is to get the, the, they're all insulin. The object is to get the sugar, which is the ball, into the muscle, which is the opposition's net or a basket ring. So uh, the team that scores the most sugar goals, if you like, uh, wins. And of course, uh, I always say, saves the sugar man's life. The sugar man, uh, uh, has a problem getting sugar into his muscle because he has diabetes. So the team's responsibility is to get the sugar into the muscle. So, and then I explain uh, what diabetes is. Diabetes is anything that, that stops the insulin from doing its job. So we call it insulin resistance. That's where diabetes really starts. It's where the body is re resisting the insulin, stopping it from doing its job. And you can demonstrate that in that game of basketball or in that coit, I can move the, the coit's pole further away, making it more difficult for the children to get the sugar into the muscle. I can, I can probably put three defenders on one person trying to shoot a basket, if you like, you know, and uh, so I can make it more difficult. And that's what diabetes is, it just makes it a little bit more difficult uh, to, for the insulin to get the sugar into the muscle. And then the sugar will rise into the bloodstream causing major complications of diabetes. And over years as well, as you put on weight and so on, eat all the wrong foods, and insulin has to work that a little bit harder to get through those fat cells and everything else, diabetes is uh, diagnosed. Basically, the, uh, the, the, the clear message for children, particularly in schools, is I focus on uh, three steps. The three steps being, the first, they need to know what foods convert into sugar or glucose. You know, fructose, lactose from dairy products, and carbohydrates, potatoes, potato chips, you know, and, the, and all the fruit. And then they need to know, uh, fundamentally, uh, the second one is uh, healthy eating. In other words, uh, by reducing the amount of sugar that goes in the mouth, you know, means you're going to be healthier. It means that the insulin doesn't have to work as hard in the system by eating healthy, by eating less sugar if you like. And then uh, the third is the, the effect of activity and exercise. 
uh, as you exercise, uh, you don't need insulin to get the sugar into the muscle anymore because the muscle cells crave for energy as you're exercising um, and the cell door, the muscle door opens and then the sugar just comes in by itself. So that's a far better way of keeping your sugar levels down is a combination of healthy eating, knowing what foods can contain sugar so you can avoid them or reduce them, uh, reduce the amount of sugar that goes in the mouth and thirdly, the, the importance of exercise in reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes. You've been listening to The Sugar Man. Thank you.